What if I told you that some of the world's most powerful scientists from NASA, CERN, and top Ivy League universities have been secretly visiting ancient temples of India? Yes, not as tourists, but as researchers. Why? Because what they found inside these ancient temples is shaking the very foundations of science and history. Are these just places of worship? Or are they ancient energy centers built with cosmic knowledge far ahead of our time? In this video, we'll uncover the top five shocking reasons why Western scientists are quietly stepping into Indian temples and what they're trying to discover. Watch till the end. You won't believe what's hidden beneath our own heritage. Many Indian temples, especially the ancient ones, aren't randomly built. They're located on precisely calculated energy meridians of the earth, similar to ley lines. Temples like Kanchipuram, Chidambaram, and Kedarnath are constructed at intersections of high magnetic energy, where cosmic and geomagnetic forces converge. Now here's what shocked scientists from Europe and the US. When they measured the geomagnetic frequency around these temples, the values were abnormally high sometimes 10 times the normal levels. Why is that important? Because it suggests that ancient temple builders knew exactly how to tap into the planet's energy grid, something even modern architecture can't replicate without GPS, satellites, and AI tools. These temples may have been constructed using Vastu Shastra and Agama Shastra, ancient sciences that encode energy flow, solar alignment, and vibration resonance. And get this, NASA researchers involved in the Deep Space Signal Program once reportedly visited Manakshi Temple in Madurai after strange signals resembling cosmic echoes were traced near that zone. Coincidence or hidden science? Mystery number two, granite domes and frequency resonance. Many temples are made of granite, a stone known for its piezoelectric properties. It can generate energy when pressure or vibrations are applied. Take Brihadiswarar Temple in Tanjavur, for example. Its 80-ton capstone sits atop a 216-foot-high tower made entirely of granite. This is no ordinary architecture. It's a frequency amplifier. When devotees chant mantras inside these stone chambers, the granite vibrates at certain frequencies, creating resonance fields. CERN scientists who visited ancient temples in Tamil Nadu discovered that certain frequencies especially the OM sound, can activate micropulses in the pineal gland and stimulate serotonin and melatonin production in the brain. It's bio-spiritual engineering. What they're studying. How sacred geometry plus sound can be used to induce altered states of consciousness, perhaps the same kind experienced by yogis and saints. Modern science is barely beginning to understand sound therapy, but ancient Indian temples had already built it into their very design. Mystery number three, idol vibrations and conscious fields. Why do idols in Indian temples undergo prana pratishta, a ritual where life force is infused into the stone? Western physicists visiting South Indian temples noticed something bizarre. Using electromagnetic field scanners, they found that some main deities, Mulavar, emit measurable EM waves, especially during specific times like Arti or Abhishekam. How is that possible from a stone idol? In temples like Jagannath Puri, Tirumala Tirupati, and Sringeri Sharada Pitham, saints have said that the idols are not just symbolic, but activated consciousness points. CERN and MIT researchers are exploring whether these idols are encoded with scalar field energy, something that's not yet fully understood, but theorized in quantum physics. Their hypothesis, certain idols, once consecrated, may act like quantum receivers, pulling subtle energies from cosmic planes, which may explain why devotees report divine visions or healing. Could our ancestors have unlocked the science of consciousness fields? Mystery number four. Padmanabha Swami Temple's Secret Chamber. You've heard of Padmanabha Swami Temple in Kerala, famous for its secret underground vaults holding trillions in gold. But Vault B remains unopened. Why? because it's said to be guarded by supernatural force, and astrologers warned of disasters if it is forcibly opened. But what many don't know is that foreign researchers, including physicists and historians, 
have shown deep interest in this vault, not for treasure, but for what's beneath it. Several suggest that Vault B may contain an ancient Vedic energy chamber, or even a cosmic map, possibly related to subterranean Agartha myths. The shock factor. Ancient palm leaf manuscripts suggest that opening this vault with improper rituals could destabilize magnetic energy fields. Not mythology, but a kind of geoenergetic balance. Why scientists are curious. They think the ancients may have used crystals, yantras, and sound harmonics to seal certain energies. If proven, it rewrites everything we know about ancient science and consciousness. Mystery number five, NASA's interest in Vimana Shastra and flying temples. Now, here's the wildest part. Declassified reports from the 1960s NASA archives mention studies on Vimana Shastra, the ancient Sanskrit texts that describe flying machines powered by mercury, anti-gravity, and solar energy. What does this have to do with temples? Certain temples, like Kailasa Temple in Ellora and Virapaksha Temple in Hampi, have carvings that depict flying machines in complex aerodynamic shapes. Some researchers believe these temples might have been aerodynamic stations, either symbolic or real, from a lost Vedic age. In fact, in 2018, a team of engineers from Germany and U.S. came to study Ellora Caves to understand how it was excavated from a single rock, with such precision that modern lasers can't replicate it. What scientists believe if even 1% of Vimana Shastra is practical, it could open doors to zero-point energy, sustainable propulsion, and interdimensional travel. India's temples may be repositories of ancient aerospace technology, hidden in plain sight. Conclusion So, why are Western scientists visiting Indian temples? Not to pray, but to study, to decode to rediscover a science far more advanced than what we have today, a science that unites spirituality and quantum physics, architecture and consciousness, sound and healing. As Indians, we must ask ourselves, are we truly aware of what we've inherited? While the West studies our temples with scientific tools, many of us treat them as weekend picnic spots. But these sacred spaces were never meant to be just religious centers. They were, and still are cosmic laboratories, designed not just to worship God, but to experience Him through vibration, sound, light, and consciousness. Before NASA finds it, let us rediscover our own Sanatan Dharma. If this video opened your eyes to the secret science of temples, please like, share, and comment. Sanatan is eternal below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.